Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. He's an on time God. Amen. He's an on time God. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you're going through, don't give up because God going to show up on time. Amen. 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 You may think that it's going to stay dark forever, but it doesn't. Day comes. Amen. And in the daylight comes your victory. Amen. Yes. We may endure for the night, but what joy, joy comes in the morning. Don't give up because God is on time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, great job, praise and worship. Glory to God be the glory. Great glory job. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 If we can all please go to God in prayer, amen. Yes, Join yes, me, yes, amen. Yes, yes. As we give God all the glory and the honor, amen. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord yes, God. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for who you are. Yes, Lord. We thank you for being the author of our lives, Lord God. We thank you for orchestrating things, Lord God. And we thank you for every promise that you've given us, Lord God. We thank you for the promises of victory, Lord God. The promises of healing, Lord God. The promises, Lord God, of being a more than a conqueror, Lord God. We say thank you, Father God. Father God, on today, Lord, we choose to walk in those promises, Lord God. We choose to take each and everything that you've given us, Lord God, and apply it to our lives, Father God. But Father, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord God. And we said thank you, Father God. God, right now I decrease. And Father God, I pray that you increase in me, Lord God. Fill me to the point of overflowing, Lord God, so that every word that comes out of my mouth, Lord God, will be your word, Lord God. That it will saturate the hearts of your people, Lord God, that they're able to apply it to their lives, Lord God. Live your word, Lord God, and share it. Father God, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's better than that. He is so, so good. He's better than that. Awesome. I love it how y'all got it. I love it. I love it. Nobody just says all the time. Because no, he better than good. There aren't even words to explain how great God is. There are not words to explain. Our mind can't even fathom it. It can wrap around it the goodness of God. Amen. He is every single thing that we need at every single moment that Amen. we need it. Amen. Even Amen. when we try to rush things and we want it to be on a microwave time, God says, no, it's on time. Amen. Because if I give it to you too early, then you're going to misuse it. Amen. You're not going to know how to handle it. You're not going to be able to appropriate it in the right way. Amen. But when God gives it to you and he gives it to you on time, then you're able to enjoy the blessing. Amen. You're able to see the blessing. You're able to live the blessing. You're not worrying about it. Because when I tell you God word says I make you rich and I add no sorrow with it. Amen. He's not going to bless you with something and then you figuring out how you're going to pay for it. Or you figuring out what's going to happen next. No, when God blesses you, it is on time. Amen. 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 So if you find yourself getting caught up in something and it seemed like it just ain't right, it probably ain't God. <laughs> it was probably you. Come on now. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come it was on you. Now. And you're thinking, thinking. And forcing you. things to happen when they shouldn't have happened. Amen. Amen. And you know, and knowing all of these things. We get equipped with so much knowledge and we get equipped with so much word here in this ministry. And I would say even in religious churches to have a good foundation, a lot of the times they know that Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Even in the traditions, they still learn that Jesus is. So they get the knowledge that they need, but then they have to build upon that knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. They gotta build upon that foundation. They gotta apply that knowledge, amen? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Apply your knowledge. Mm -hmm. yes. amen, amen. 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 Apply Good word. Good word. your knowledge. Good word. Apply it now. Oftentimes you hear people say that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. But knowledge without being applied is nothing. That's right. 
You only get power when you apply your knowledge. Amen. I'm one that likes to cook. And if I give you three cups of flour, a pound of butter, three cups of sugar, six eggs, some vanilla flavoring, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Make some pancakes. That's not it. It's because I gave you the ingredients, but I didn't tell you what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gave it to you, but I didn't know. That's the recipe for a pound cake. <laughs> I the instructions tell you first you got to cream together your eggs and your sugar, your butter and your sugar. And then you add one egg at a time. Then you alternate between your flour and your liquid so that then when you come up, you have a nice thick consistency. So when you bake it at 325 for an hour and a half, then it comes out and it is good. good. Yes. It is good. Yes. That's not good. Yes. Oftentimes we get the knowledge, we give it to you. Here you go, every single thing that you need. Mm -hmm. But then we don't take it and we don't apply it in the correct way, so we just wound up with nothing. nothing. It's just wasted information. Mm -hmm. Y'all come with me in the back of my Bible. In the back of my Bible, I have this area, and I have a um, New Living Life Application Study Bible. And in the back of my Bible, I have this area that says, like, dictionary and coordinates. Mm -hmm. Do you all have that in the back of your Bibles? Sometimes when you don't really know what a word means, you should flip back there sometimes. Right. Right. Because it's going to give you the definition of it according to the word of God. It's not going to give you the definition of it according to Google Come on now. and of the world. The world. Amen? Amen? But in the back of mine, it says, knowledge as a noun... We know what a noun is, right? Uh -huh. Knowledge is a noun. It's the fact or condition of being aware of something or having information and wisdom. Being aware of something and having the information and wisdom. So how many of you know who Jesus is? Amen. You've been given that information As we said in the beginning Even if you were in a religious church You still knew who Jesus was Right But if you don't apply who Jesus is To your life Then you live a life of lack You've been given the information But it's time to apply the information you have to grow in knowing who Jesus is. You got to constantly be in his word. I'm going to ask something in this ministry right here. At the end of each teaching, we ask the question, have you learned anything? Uh-huh. And we say, if so, what are you going to do with it? Apply it, live it, and share it. So in other words, have you been given knowledge through the teachings? Yes. We say apply it, live it, and share it. Uh -huh. But I want to ask you a question, and I ask us all to take a moment and just reflect. Which of those is the hardest for you to do? Mm. <laughs> Which of those is the hardest for you to do? Because it seems very easy to share the word of God, to encourage others, and remind others of the promises of God. But then it seems to be a challenge when it's time to apply the word of God to your own life and to your own situations. Why is that? Why is that? It seems when it comes to that day for us to truly apply the word of God, we forget what we've been told. We forget who we are. We forget what we, whose we are. We forget who, what we are made of. Amen. We forget the promises of God. The promises that says that you are healed. The promises that say that you are victorious. The promises that say that you are more of a comforter, more than a conqueror. The promises that say that he will never leave you nor forsake you. The promises that say that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The promises that say that you are above and never again beneath. The promises that say that you are the lender and no longer the borrower. The promises that say that you are blessed coming and blessed going. Oftentimes when things come up, we forget the promises of God. But that's when you time for you to apply yes. the word of God to your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but see, we forget what's happening and we forget to apply the words of God because we ain't practicing the word of God. Mm. 
You got to practice the word of God. Yeah, amen. That's right. I don't know about you all, but who played sports? I played them in high school. I ran track. I was a cheerleader. Who did things like that? Oh, it's okay. You played sports. Bree over here, you play basketball, right? So she plays basketball. Imagine if you never go to practice. Imagine if you never go to practice. You never learn what a crossover is. You never learn what it is to go man to man. You never learn what it is to be in the 3-2 zone. You never learn any of those things, but then on game day, you just there. How is that going to work out? It doesn't work out, and that's what it is when it's applying the word of God. You got to practice the word of God so that when adversity comes up against you, you ain't just there. The enemy ain't just looking at you coming up against you because just like the other basketball team, they go to score. But you're going to be so out of place. You're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel like you don't know. You're going to feel like you're weak. But it's all because you mispractice. You have to practice the word of God in your life daily. Amen. 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 And it's not nothing that I'm just saying. I'm, let's go. Philippians 4. We go Philippians 4 and 9. And I'm going to read this one from the NIV. Can I get an amen when we're all there? Any hold dogs? Amen. amen. Philippians 4 and 9, NIV says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> whatever you have learned or received or heard from me. When you're in here and you're in the place of God and a man of God, God is standing, a woman of God is standing up here giving you his word. Notice I say it's his word because it's God's word. Amen. You got to receive it. Amen. We're not just up here just to be talking because our mission is to save other lives. Yeah. It's to introduce everybody to Jesus. Amen. Everybody to Amen. Jesus. I would be wrong if I just kept the word of God to myself and I didn't share it. I would be wrong if I lived a good life but didn't watch my sister or my brother live a little good life as well. It says that everything that you have heard and received from who? God. God, amen. Everything. Amen. amen. Everything that you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. Mm -hmm. Put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. When you're going through things, isn't it hectic? Isn't it chaotic? Your world seems topsy-turvy. You've been turned around. It's upside down. It seems like things will never stop. As they say, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> when you're going through things. But see, if you're putting the word of God into practice, then you will be at peace. And the way that you get to be at peace, because in that peace, you remember the promises of God. You remember that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. You remember that God shall supply all of your needs. Amen. You remember that you are above and never give a need. Amen. Amen. When you're putting the words of God into practice. Amen. Amen. So therefore, when that situation comes up against you, you're not worried. You're not worried. You're not hung up on it. You just get to laugh at it. Let's go to Matthew. And again, I'm going to stay in the NIV. I'm going to go to Matthew 7, verse 24. And I'm going to read 24 through 25. And I just want to make sure that we have 
confirmation in the word of God. That it doesn't matter what comes up against you. When you're practicing the word of God, you can stand. That's right. Mm-hmm. You can stand. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Can, let me get an amen when we're all there. Amen. 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 Matthew 7, 24 says, Therefore, everyone that hears the word of, of mine and puts these put them into practice is like a man who builds his house on a rock. Who's your rock? Jesus. Amen. Who is your rock? Jesus. Y'all should say that with some confidence. Because Jesus is my rock. Amen. Old folks said, my rock, my strong tower, my sword, and my shield. Amen. That's all in one song. Amen. 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 Come on, he the man. wheel in the middle of a wheel. That's right. Amen. 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 It is like a man, a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain came down. The streams rose. The winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. When you're putting the things of the words of God into practice, it doesn't matter what comes up against you. Amen. As children of God, we got to stand strong. I don't know if you all have known yet, but in the back of your Bible, when I said to turn to where there's an area that gives you a dictionary and a coordinates, well, if you go a little bit before there in Revelations, it tells you that the enemy is already lost. That's right. So therefore, everything that he puts up against you, you ought to be laughing at him. Be like, dude, this don't even matter because you already lost. That's right. I'm already victorious. You just come here just occupying my time, and I don't give you that time. We got to stop saying that, though. The devil is busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the devil did this, or the devil did this. No, it's the choices that we make. Amen. It is the choices that we make because if you choose or not to give him no time, he don't have it. If you choose to not to allow him to meddle in your household, then he cannot. If you choose not to have him to mess with your mind, then he cannot. Because when he tried to throw something in you to say, oh girl, you're not cute, you got to look at him and say, no baby, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Amen. You block him immediately. Amen. I know y'all got cell phones. You can block a person immediately. You just block. They can't call you. They can't text you or anything. You block them. That's how a lot of us need to do with the enemy. You need to just block him. And while you block him, constantly speak the word of God. Constantly practice the word of God. Constantly live in the word of God in your life. Amen. When things are going on in your life, God puts us together for a reason. You don't have to go through it by yourself. camping up by yourself in a one man tent. I remember a story that people tell about a man that was on the house because the city or something had flooded. Uh -huh. And he was on the roof of a house. And he said, I'm not worried about it because God is going to save me. So God sent by a person in a boat. And they said, come on, let me help you. And he said, no, it's okay. God going to save me. <laughs> so God said, okay, I'm going to send by somebody in a, I think it was a ship or something bigger. A yacht. It was something bigger. Let's say a yacht. A yacht. I like that. We went from a little bit of fishing boat when you use them little uh, cane poles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we in a yacht. Mm -hmm. I like that. So God sends by a yacht. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on, sister. Let's go. I got you. No, it's okay. God gonna save me. God then sends a helicopter. You don't even gotta touch the water. You don't even have to get in the water. You can rise up above the water. Come on, let's go. And he said, no, God is going to save me. Guess what happened? He drowned. He stayed there. 
And we have to not put ourselves in those same situations. Because if you know the word of God and you're constantly practicing the word of God, then you know that God uses man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. To do what it is that he wants to be done. Amen. He himself is not Thor. He is not coming down. <laughs> Oh wait, what's Thor daddy name? Odin. Odin. With the lightning. Odin. 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 With the lightning. You can't come out. He's not going to be on a boat of lightning. <laughs> That's not who God is. We are the hands and feet of God. Of God. Amen. 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 We are the body of Christ. Therefore, if my brother says that he needs me, I'm there. Amen. But he's going to be, in order for him to know that he needs me, he got to be putting the word of God into practice. Amen. He got to know that he needs someone iron shopping to iron. Amen. We got to do that with each other. We got all this knowledge. Oh, well, I know that Jesus resurrected from the dead. I know that he rose on the third day. I know that he got up with all power. I know that he left his Holy Spirit within me. I know that I am a conqueror. I know that he gave me a comforter. Come on, come on. I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. Bill come up. I'm going to go over here to check and go and give me some money because I ain't got none. So I can pay this light bill. Mm. Light bill was $200. You borrowed $200. Now you got to pay back $600. What sense do that make? None. None <coughs> sense. None. But yet when the first come up to you, you say, God, I know this bill is here in my bank account. Look empty. But God, your bank account. Because you said, God, that you will supply all of my needs according to your riches and glory, Amen. Lord God. Amen. I'm not worried about what it looks like over here in my bank account, God. Amen. God, I am a tither. And God, you said, prove ye now. Amen. God, and I'm calling you, bringing your word back into your remembrance. See, when you put that word of God into practice, we're not worried about that bill no more. At the same time that you're putting God's word into practice, he's talking to his brother, uh, your brother or your sister over here, saying, hey, sister so-and-so needs you to give him $200. Amen. Amen. And then being obedient in the word of God, they're just going to say, okay. Now they're going to come to church because they know that's what sister so-and-so be. Because mm -hmm. God has sent your blessing in the place where he is. Amen? Amen. Yeah. That person just going to walk up to you and bless you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You ain't said nothing to nobody. Mm -hmm. The only thing you did was put God's word into practice. That's, right. mm -hmm. That's the only thing you did. You put his word into practice and it came to flourishing in your life. That's right. mm -hmm. It's time for us to apply our knowledge. Amen. Because to keep God's word in you but never to use it does you no good at all. Amen. Apply your Amen. knowledge. Amen. Apply the word of God to your life. That's, how you work that word. Amen. That's the only way that it's going to be of any effect to you. Amen. You can keep getting told the word of God. But then every time something happens, you want to pass it to pray for you. What? 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 what why? <laughs> According to your faith, let it be up to you. We don't apply the word of God and we perish. We don't apply the word of God and we get, we just get lost. And that is what God's word tells us. We're going to go there. That's the scripture. <laughs> Hosea. I know somebody got to use your uh, table of contents for this. Go on ahead and use it. Do not be afraid. Do not be embarrassed or ashamed. You better use it. Amen. That's what they're there for. You think they put them right there for you just to uh, look at them? No. Hosea 4 and 6. And I am an NIV, yes, sir. Can I get an amen when we all there? Amen. amen. Any hold up? Hold up. I'm way. 
Don't know people can't go together when you wait. You get an amen whenever you're there, sister. Amen. Amen. I want to point out something to you. You know how she just said, hold up? Yep. And we paused and we waited. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes you feel like, oh, I know it. So they don't know it. So that's not part of my circle. You go to a church and the preacher is preaching and preaching above your head. Not breaking anything down. Not making it so that you can understand it. What good is it? What good is it? You have to wait so that everybody can be on the same page. God got us, he made us all equal. Amen. If my sister said, hold up, I'm waiting. Amen. I ain't going nowhere. That's how we have to be with our with people in life. The people on your job. I know my sister back here, she shares all the time how the people on her job just come and want her to pray. They want to talk about everything. What if she says, no, I'm too busy. You should know this already. <laughs> because you my boss. But I'm praying for you. Mm. What if she said, no, you should know this already. You 50 years old. You've been going to church forever. Why you don't know this? You're 76 years old. You was back there when they was throwing Jesus. Us. <laughs> we was spitting in dirt and rubbing it on people's eyes. How come you don't know this? But it doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter the person. We gotta all be. We gotta all be on one accord when it comes to God. Amen. We gotta lift each other up. Amen. Amen. We don't know the life that everybody else has had. They may have been taught religion their whole life. Mm-hmm. And now it's time that God has put put you in place to help them break out of it, all so right. that they can be free. Amen. Amen. Right? Well, because you. Say, oh, well, they should know. You're not fulfilling the God's purpose for you. And then you want to know, oh, I had a good job, but now I moved. Well, you you weren't doing what you were supposed to do on the job. God put you there for a reason. And it was to bring people to him. Amen. And as long as you're doing the word of God, I promise you, you will forever be blessed. Forever be blessed. Amen. But let's go to Hosea. Hosea 4 and 6 NIV says, we were there? Mm-hmm. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. Because it was what mama said. Reverend Brown didn't say it like that, so that can't be right. My grandma said that uh, God helps those that help themselves, so I don't know what you're talking about. My grandmother, my grandpapa said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So that must wasn't for me. When you have a man of God or the woman of God standing before you telling you that that was Job that said that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't God. Mm We're supposed to be following the word of God, not the word of Job. (laughs) How you repeating Job, but you can't repeat God. But you reject the knowledge that is being given to you because you stuck in tradition. Mm -hmm. You reject the knowledge that has been given to you because it may make you think of things differently. It may cause you to live life just a little bit better. Because it's not going to cause you to live life in lack. It's going to cause you to live life better. Yes, amen. Amen. We don't realize that when we say, oh, it's different from what I thought all these years, it's because God is preparing you for better. Amen. God is preparing you for greatness. Amen. He is enlarging Amen. your territory. Amen. Don't reject the word of God just because it makes you uncomfortable. It's setting you up for greater. You can't reject the word of God. Now, reject opinion. Do that. Reject those things that 
are not of the word of God. Right. Amen. And if you're not sure what they are, get your Bible and read it for yourself. Because when it's coming out of their mouth, you can look at them and say, mm, that ain't what they said. And you have to use your, I call them context clues. You got to read above and below. Right. You cannot just read one thing and, th and just make a whole summary out of it. You're going to write a whole 5,000 word page off of one scripture. It doesn't work like that. You got to put all of God's words into context. Amen. So that you are able to get a true understanding Amen. Of, word, of God's word. Amen. Amen. But it says my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. I also reject it. You as my priest because you have ignored the law of God. What is the law of God? Love. Right now. Love. Right now. What are we living under? Grace. We're living under the law of grace. Are we living under the law of thou shalt not? No. Grace. Love. Amen. Do not reject love. Do not reject grace. Because love covers a multitude of wrongdoings. But you only know that if you're applying it. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have to make sure we get a true understanding of, word, of God's word. I want to do something because God plays too much out sometimes. <laughs> when I tell you he plays too much, he plays too much. Because he literally just said this. How many of you all were in school and you had to learn songs? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yep. 23rd song. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. I had to learn it. Mm -hmm. Like it was a for real, for real test. It, it accounted for a good weight of your grade. Mm -hmm. Who had to do that? Raise your hand. <laughs> y'all new ones, y'all don't have to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I want to share, share something with you with that. God had revealed to me that when we were doing the 23rd Psalms, even as kids, he was already setting us up in a, uh, for a foundation to know who we were. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to go to the 23rd Psalms for me. And we're going to go through it together. And I'm going to show you how it's already in God's word. Amen? Amen. We can go in NIV. Everybody there? Amen. 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 First verse says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall and I lack nothing, right? Amen. Then if you go to Philippians 4 and 19, it says, But God shall supply all my needs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He said, He maketh me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside the still waters. Mm -hmm. But then if you go to Proverbs 3 and 5, it says. That it trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into your own understanding that he shall what? Direct thy path. Amen. <laughs> he refreshes my soul. King James says he restores my soul. And he guides me along the right path for his namesakes. Amen. Amen. <gasps> Amen. If you go to Deuteronomy 30 and 3, it says God, your God will restore everything that you lost. Amen. And it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou, God, is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Who can tell me what, what scripture I'm going to go to? Y'all ain't paying attention. But God did not give us the spirit of fear. That's 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Amen. Amen. It also coincides with God says that I would never leave nor forsake you. Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13. Amen. Wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't got out of place. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> he says, you repaired the table before me in the presence of my enemy and you anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Where are we going? If God makes our enemies our what? Foot. Footstool. I'm going to give you the scripture. You hold on.
That's Psalms 110 and 1. Amen. 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 Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Everlasting life. We didn't even pay attention to it back then that that's what that was. By the way, that's John 10, 28. You see how they coincide with each other? Mm -hmm. Amen. The, God of, the word of God always coincides. When I was 13 years old, I did not know that the 23rd Psalms was setting me up to be greatness. Amen. Amen. I was mad that I had to learn it. But as I started to put the word of God into practice in my life, God is showing me that even back then he was with me. That's right. God is showing me that even then he made me victorious. Right. God was showing me that even back then I was above and never beneath him. That's right. That I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. Even then, we didn't know that then. But as you constantly practice God's word, as you constantly get into God's word, as you constantly, 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study God's word, Amen. then you know that God's word is only to be of good for you. Amen. It's not to harm you. It's not to make you lack. It is to open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing on you that you would have not room enough to receive. God wants to bless us in abundance, amen? Well, he can only bless us in abundance if we apply the knowledge that he has given us to our lives. Amen, amen. amen. I can give you keys for a Ferrari, but if you don't know how to drive the Ferrari, what good is he gonna do to you? You got the knowledge, apply it. Amen. You get the knowledge, apply it. If you don't understand it, ask questions. Because it give, it's no good to have it and not understand it. That's right. I'm gonna give you the bank card to a bank account that has $10 billion in it. But if I don't give you the pen, what good is it? If you don't know the pen, what good is it? You just got a $10 billion. They just sitting over there collecting interest for somebody else. And you're not even using it. Apply your knowledge. God has given us the pen. He has already cracked the code. He has already died, rose, and given you all power. Yep, yep, yep. Come on now. When he got all power, he gave us power. all power as well. Yeah. That means you have all power over the enemy. That means that nothing that he does can hurt you. Amen. Amen. You may stumble, but you're not going to fall. That's right. And guess what? If you do fall, get back up. Amen. Trust yourself up and keep going. That's right. That's right. Keep going. Amen. He might have knocked you down that time, but you're going to be ready for him the next time. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Apply the knowledge that you have. Amen. Apply it so that we can live above and never again beneath. Apply it so that we can live a life full of luxury and greatness. Ain't nothing wrong with living a life of luxury. Mm -hmm. I don't know who don't want to live a life of luxury. Who don't? I'm looking. Because we do. I want to I wanna live a life where my zeros don't end in my bank account. I can't even see them. I'm not even going to put a number on it because I don't want them to be able to eat. Yeah, I, I, I want to live a life that if my sister come to me and say, hey, I want a house. Okay. Uh, come on over here, uh, Cardwell. I need you to give me what you want, sis. You want 2,000, 3,000 square feet. I need a 3,000 square feet home. What you want? That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. 
You want too bad? You can have it. You can have it. Because see, the blessings that God gives to me is for me to share with my sisters Amen. and my brothers. Amen. It's not for me to hoard. Communities in Colleen where it's just for like Muslims. Do y'all know that? Mm -hmm. yeah. They have communities where it's just religious based. Mm -hmm. And I don't even understand it because as children of God, we have an entire world mm -hmm. that is Christian based. Mm -hmm. We ought to be able to share the word of God with each and every person Amen. and not just have a little bitty community. No, we got a world Amen. Amen. that we can share the word of God. So that as I know, you know, that as you know, you know, and then as you know, you know, and then as you know, you know, and 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 as you know, you know, that as you know, that you know that God is and nothing can come up against us. Nothing. Apply the knowledge because when we apply it. It's like we're standing up here strong. Yes. Right. Amen. We are together, not broken. We'd be like JJ and his friends. Come on now. I know that. Y'all looking at me like, what she talking about? Hey. United we stand, divided we fall. We're tired of them pantyhose, two sizes small. We're going to be like JJ. All in the word of God. United. That is dynamite. That is dynamite. All the Apply the knowledge. Are you at a point where you want to live a life that is better than the life that you're living now? Yes. Then apply the knowledge that God has given you. Apply the knowledge that the man and the woman of God, especially in this ministry, are giving you so that you can live a life that is better than it is. Because I'm here to tell you that knowledge mm -hmm. without being applied is nothing. But if you apply your knowledge, then you have power. Amen. 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 As the ministers and deacons come. Amen. that God has given you. Take the word of God and slap the enemy all upside his head. Smack, smack, smack him all upside his head. Twice. He has no power. None. None. He can only suggest things. He can't even move your hand if you don't want him to. Amen. He can't be in your life. He can't be in your finances. If you don't allow him to. Every time he says something to you that is against the word of God, smack him with the word of God. Amen. Smack him with it. Amen. And the word of God comes in two or three. Because there's always a witness to one part of the word of God. So when you smack him with the word of God, it's like we're going in a gang fight. We ain't fair. You came to me. Now, I was, it's like my mama used to tell me, if one of us fight, oh, all three of us better fight. <laughs> Everybody better fight. So when the enemy comes up against you, you better take every scripture you know, what they got to do with the word of God, and throw it at him. Fight. Apply it. That's how you, that's what it is to fight, to apply the knowledge that you have. Amen. Knowledge applied is power. Amen. 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 I pray that everybody heard what the Spirit of the Lord was saying to them today. Amen. Amen. Amen.
knowledge. Everybody has been going, we've been going so long hearing that cliche, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. I mean, people even name their churches, knowledge is power. But the bottom line is knowledge is not power when it's not applied. There's a lot of knowledge in the graves these days because they never applied what God had given them to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. When you apply the knowledge, the, the knowledge, you apply what God has given you to do, things happen. Yes. Amen. 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 Things happen. You know, the Sunday school, we're talking about a change for a change. And some of us, we don't change because we want to keep doing things the same way. And the problem with that is, in order to see something different, you're going to have to what? Do, do something, something different. different. You can't keep doing things the same way and expecting to see something different. That's called insanity. Amen. And we got a lot of ministries that are insane today mm-hmm. because they keep doing the same thing. They wonder why things aren't happening the way they want them to happen. They wonder why, uh, uh, why they keep getting the same old problems that Mama and Papa them used to get. You know, people say generational curses. You know, you know what? When you receive Jesus, there is no more generational curse. Amen. Amen. There is Amen. no more curse. Amen? Amen. Amen. However, you can live oppressed as if you are under a generational curse That's because right. you're following other things than what the Lord is saying. You're following what Mama and Papa them said. Maybe Mama and Papa was following what Reverend Green said. And Reverend Green didn't really know the word because he couldn't read too well. That's right. Amen. 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 Why do we know the word so well? Because we know how to read. Amen. 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 Good. Every mic, every mic I get done say thing. It ain't the mics, it's me. <laughs> Amen. So it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look so the word you get the knowledge the wisdom that you get from the word of God a couple of weeks ago I heard somebody say work the word because mm-hmm. the word works, works. 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 It does. work the word because the word works wasn't that you yeah. Yeah, it was you that was yes so it was, was work the name. word because the word works, works. the word is not something that you set in your house and you just leave it there and expect something to happen Listen, if you buy some some seed, right, and you want to plant some flowers, and you get the seed in the little packet, you know, you shake it up, and you hear the seeds in there, and then you put the seeds on, on the windowsill, it's still in the little packet, right? And you still go sit down, and you're like, man, I can't wait till these flowers pop up. I can't wait till these flowers pop up. In the packet. <laughs> and flowers never come you know why flowers never come because you didn't take the seeds open them and apply them you didn't put it into the ground like I'm supposed to go Amen. you have a part to do yes we're under grace you don't think that okay well I'm under grace I ain't got no word no more yeah, I can do whatever I want and I'm alright yeah, you can do whatever you want, but remember this, as Paul said, <laughs> everything you can do, but it may not be beneficial Amen. for you. Amen. 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 That's what he said. So use the knowledge, apply the knowledge Amen. that you receive in the ministry. Reply the, apply the knowledge that God gives you. Don't walk out the church and somebody asks you, hey, what they talk about today? I don't know, but the choir sure sang good. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't paying attention. How do you expect to apply that knowledge and you don't have it? Come on. In the military, we were taught to do what? <laughs> Fire weapons. Mm-hmm. Now, if we didn't get instructions to learn about how those weapons fire, to learn about how you take them apart, put them back together, we would not be able to defend our country. What we would do is pick up these weapons and hurt ourselves because we did not apply the knowledge that we got from the classes that we're given. Amen? Amen. Amen. And God gives us teachers. Amen. 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 Amen.
there are some things that you're not going to know about on your own. And, and you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to on. There's some things you don't know about on your own. You think because you read the, the Bible from the beginning to the end, you understand it? If I give you a trigonometry book and tell you to read it from the beginning to the end, would you understand it? No, no. you'd be like, oh, Pastor Jackson, what does this say? Oh, I don't understand. And you know what I'll tell you? Get your butt in school. Find you a professor of trigonometry mm -hmm. Come on now. and allow them to teach you. Even though you read it, you don't understand it. Right. It's the same way about the word of God. Oh, God man. gives us the fivefold ministry, pastors, pre, uh, pastors, evangelists, teachers, apostles, and I thought I said prophet. No, no. Okay. Prophet, apostle, <laughs> pastor, evangelist, and teacher. Teacher. That's the most neglected gift in the body of Christ today. Teachers. Everybody wants to be a Christian, but they don't know how to they don't know how to be a Christian. They're living off of cliches. They're living off of stuff they heard. I mean, that was a perfect example. She brought when she threw that cake out here. You know, she she had all the items. Now, those items, she would have gave them to me, and I would have tried to make a pancake out. Oh, and this is and this is cake. This is, this is supposed to make a, 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 what, a, a pound cake. All right? Pound cake. What was the problem? Well, I didn't read the book, or I didn't read the instructions. I didn't read the box. So I put something together, and it doesn't look good. And I can't blame the manufacturer. Oh, man, these people... Yeah, they told me wrong. Man, Krusty's told me wrong. Hey, <laughs> Krusty's, it is you, Krusty. You. <laughs> it is you. Amen. Amen. So we got to learn how to apply the word. Now, as she said, there's a way to do it, and we just have to get in place so we can be taught. Amen. Some of us have been in church a long time. But we're still following the law that thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. And the Bible clearly tells us you can either live by the law or you can live by the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's either the law or grace, one or the other, but you can't live by them both. Amen. 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 So if you out there don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want you to know that today is the day that you can lead him. I, I know things have been tough, things have been hard, but I'm here to tell you, Jesus has the answer Amen. to any question that you may have. Some of you are in people bondage. You're afraid of what somebody else is going to think of you if you come out of religion or if you do something a little different. Don't worry about that. Jesus meets you right where you are. Amen. Amen. Jesus is everywhere. When God said, let there be light, there was no area hidden from him. Amen. So if you want to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we're going to pray the prayer, uh, the prayer of salvation. Amen. And once we pray the prayer of salvation, I want you to know something. You will be saved. Amen. Now, you may not look different, which you are not. You may not feel different, which you may not. But I'm here to tell you, you are different. Now you have a new daddy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Some of us have been taking lessons from our earthly daddy, and they ain't been good lessons. <laughs> Some of us have been taking the religious lessons from our earthly days, and it ain't been a good, good lesson. It's time to learn from our father, like Ephesians 5. In one, three to five, one and two tells us, follow the example of Christ as dear children. Amen. Follow that example. Amen. We got to follow the example of God as dear children. Amen. You know, as dear children, uh, follow the example of their parents. We need to follow the example of God. Amen. And in the same way, God is going. To, listen, if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you need to know. That your father will not ever desert you. Amen. He's Amen. always there and he will not ever hurt you. Amen. He will not ever condemn you, judge you. He will not ever tell you, stop, 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 quit, quit, quit. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. 
Now, if you plan, if you if you live in Judaism, I understand that that's your life. But if you're a Christian, then that should not be your life. Your yeah. life should be a, a life of abundance, a life of freedom, a life of grace, a life of mercy. Amen. Why? Because he has the what's the, the greatest love, y'all? Agape. Agape love. But what is agape love? In practical terms, unconditional love. And so he has unconditional love for you. And I just ask that you will find you a nice Bible, believing Bible, teaching ministry that's going to help you. If you're local, come on out to CFM. We got seats. And they're comfortable seats too. Mm -hmm. And now for you to come in and go to sleep in, though, no, they're for you to learn what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you. And the Spirit of the Lord wants to prosper you. Everybody be talking about, well, Jesus was poor. You know, Jesus was poor. No, my Bible tells me that Jesus was rich. But for our sakes, he became poor. Amen. So that we Maybe may be rich. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. what the scripture said. Right, right, right. You were poor. You were poor. Jesus wasn't poor. That's reading the whole thing. Stop. That's because you don't know the Bible. That's because you never ran past that one scripture. Mm -hmm. Read above it. Read below it. Learn who God is. Amen. Everybody standing. Let's pray. Father, Father, I open my heart, I open my heart. And, I will and I ask that Jesus will step in. Take the remains of my life and make something of them. Make something of them. I surrender all to you right now. I surrender all to you right now. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth. That Jesus, died that Jesus died and rose on the third day. And rose on the third day. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I confess in my mouth. That, in my that mouth. Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. If you pray that prayer, saved. Amen. Just saved. Amen. So find that place where you get teaching, teaching, teaching. Not just preach that. Find a place where you can ask questions. Amen. You don't get condemned and judged for asking the questions. Amen. 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 We want you to know that we love you here at Christian Freedom Ministries. Come on out on Sundays. Our services start at 1130. And on Wednesdays, our services start at 730. Mm -hmm. Sunday at 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday, we, that's, that's, the, that's the, that's the, that's uh, the, new title. Sunday school. Sunday school starts at 945. 945 to 1045. Service start at 11. Amen. 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 Wednesday service start at 730. Amen. 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 Come on out every third Tuesday. We have Men of Integrity and Dove, which yes. is the men and women's group. Amen. 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 And that's at 7 o'clock. Hey, listen, we're family here. Amen. Jesus didn't come to give you another religion. He came to, to add you to his family. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you want to donate or sow a seed in CFM, uh, all you have to do is go to ChristianFreedomMen.org and go to the Donate tab, and you can sow a seed there. And when you sow a seed, I want you to know that you should expect a harvest. Amen. 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 Expect a harvest. Amen. Now open those flower seeds, put them in the ground, and expect a harvest. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. We love you here at Christian Freedom Ministries, and I need you to remember this. Who the sun sets free is free, free indeed. Amen. Stay free. Amen. Amen.